According to my YouTube, I didn't play Home Wars. This game right here, which is a really good green plastic army men battle simulator. I didn't play it at all in the year 2020, which is actually kind of shocking. So in honor of 2021, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and play it. Uh, we did a Ravenfield army men D-Day and uh, you guys seem to have loved it. And it got me thinking, man, there's actually a decent amount of green army men games that we could play. So let's go ahead and build up our army here. I'm gonna, this is kind of where it feels like a battle simulator. It's essentially a green army men battle simulator Mixed with starship troopers, because check this out, the enemies are going to be bugs. So everything from praying mantises, giant spiders, uh, murder hornets and bees and uh, titan beetles, grasshoppers, all sorts of crazy things. And then you have all of these infantrymen, these plastic armament infantrymen, some crazy armored vehicles, artillery barrages, you can call in airstrikes, all sorts of things. So as you're seeing this, if you guys wanna see some uh, custom battles, uh, leave what armies you'd like to see fight what in the comments below. But let's get into it. So yeah, we gotta pick our army here for the battle simulator. So, and one of the things you're definitely gonna wanna do is get, we're gonna want four sappers because these guys actually build static defenses. And I'm gonna show you that and it's awesome. Let's get, let's get like four mortars. We'll only have 30 riflemen, it'll be a small squad. We'll have two anti-tanks because some of those big bugs are essentially tanks. Machine guns never hurt nobody unless you're the guys getting shot at. So we're definitely going to want some heavy artillery. And let's get, let's get one A-10 Warthog. Now in order to fight this army, because this is a relatively small one, it's like, let, let's play like it's Halo in the planet of Harvest. Wasn't that the first contact between the Covenant and the UNSC? Now we're going to need lots of ants. Lots of ants. Now each one of these, it's not like we're sending 40 ants. Like each one of these is a group. Check this out. Members of group 20. So that's actually what? Eight, 800? Oh my God, 800 might be a little bit much. So we'll send, that's 200 ants. That's 10 groups times 20 in each group. Oh my gosh. Now we're going to have some bugs too. Uh, some flyers. And then we'll need like a boss unit. I'm thinking one group of daddy long legs. Actually, <clears throat> one group of daddy long legs. Now, when you click it, there's 14. So there'll be 14 daddy long legs running around there. And I think we're going to have this. So let's actually just give them one set of beetles and one set of big old ants too. Let's see if uh, we can deal with this one. Now we got to choose which room we want to fight. And I think the same, the one I like the most is Central Hallway just because it's a big open battlefield. So yeah, if you guys are new to this, because I mean, think how many subscribers we've grown since just the last time we played Home Wars. There's so many people who may not have ever seen it. So this is where you start out. This is your military base and your like supply center. You can see all these like containers and fuel dump, artillery shells and like that. But if this base here falls, you die. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Oh God, we're gonna run out of am ammunition. We didn't, oh, I forgot. Well, I'm gonna have to show you what happens when you're not supplied. I, I think that our guys might lose. So basically we can go to infantry. Now this is an amazing game. It just wasn't very optimized at all. And it has a very complex UI. But I'd say other than that, it was a great game. So if you guys want to see me make an amazing green plastic army movement game, and you want to see more of this, pull the trigger on that like button and let me know, man. So we'll create some firing lines here of uh, riflemen infantry. We'll put them all over here. So we'll have both machine guns set up over here. Now the real one is, uh, wait a second. Where are my sappers? Well, it is what it is. This is the first incursion and it's probably not going to go too well for us. Everybody will die. All right, so now what we do is we can pause the battle and we'll get back up to our air view. This is our squad here and I got one of these machine guns over here. So we're not going to have any defenses. This is going to be just like absolute getting bum rushed by bugs. But it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Total War. It's so basically what we want to do is they're going to be attacking from, I think it was over there and possibly over there as well. So what we're gonna wanna do is build these things. Our sappers are essentially like engineers and they can build all manner of uh, defenses as you can see down here on the bottom middle. So like, and then this guy, I'm gonna have him start producing barbed wire. And what we'll do, and the cool thing is is they can like overlap, but you know, if you were to optimize this kind of a game, you definitely wanna make them more of like connecting or be able to run. And I, I wonder what game, what games do you think would be really good inspirations for that? And we'll go ahead and get some uh, bunkers, some like sandbags for our guys to hide behind. And that should be uh, hopefully enough. All right, now once these guys get in a position, what we're gonna do is you're gonna see these things like the little dust will kick up. All right, so machine gun, you go here and the guys group up kind of funny. It could be way better, but I mean, no other game has it where like you get that Starship Troopers like experiment. Bazooka over here, air defense, air defense, 
Air defense, mortars in the back. So all we know, intelligence has basically just told us like, oh, you know what, bad guys are coming. Like, well, what are they? Are they, are they tan army men again? Interestingly enough, it's a, it's a army men game with no tan. No tan baddies. And you have a little bit of time here to set up. All right. Well, we're ready as we're ever going to be. So we've got 15 minutes. It looks like the entire enemy force is coming over here. So this is why you want those. Uh, you're like, why do you have surface to air missiles like shoulder bound surface to air missiles? Well, because they're pretty good at taking out enemy mosquitoes. So looks like the enemy force is moving over there. Some of them are trying to flank around, actually. So this is kind of why we fortified the left flank. But we might want to maneuver some of our guys. And then look at that. When the bugs get in the glue field, they start slowing down. It looks like we're doing a pretty good job defending this, except this mortar over here is hitting the side of the wall. So it's, it's missing its opportunities for targets. Wait a minute, more bugs are coming in from this side. Where's the surface air missile over here? Start targeting those! And the riflemen can shoot them down too. But if you were to work on like the animations and like uh, a little bit of physics, we're gonna have to move some riflemen to defend back here because some of the bugs are sneaking by. We didn't put defenses as far around. We were running out of time and supplies, Captain. And is this guy alive? He is alive and you can't really tell, but he is attacking. Look at this, man. Just endless waves of ants. Oh God, they're flanking. Big old spiders are flanking. 50 cal. Take him out. Now, if I wanted to take command of a unit, I could just press Q here. And this could definitely be optimized too, but this is a 50 caliber machine gun firing at a spider and some ants. Oh, that's a big boy. You ain't getting around me. You little bugs. The only good bug is dead bug. But yeah, man, there, there's a game for Starship Troopers coming out by Slytherin, which I'm pretty excited for because I really liked Afghanistan 11. And then, uh, win the battle, all enemies will withdraw. Wow, we actually held it. But the problem is, in a more pitched battle, we would definitely need to be resupplied for ammunition. And we totally forgot the supply trucks. So essentially, that is a very small scale battle, you may be saying. The enemy had over 400. Like, that's kind of nuts. Enemy groups on standby, zero. And we had a nice, sweet, sweet victory. Oh, and we actually didn't call in the air support. So we're gonna have to go back, go back to a custom battle. And we could do a campaign if that's something you wanna see. But let's see some of the more outlandish stuff. But well, we definitely want some howitzers this time. We definitely need sappers. Sappers are the key. We'll get like four. And then where are those stinking supply trucks? I always forget about them. There they are. These things are absolutely key. We'll have uh, one recon vehicle, one heavy tank, and then we'll, we'll for fun, we'll get the big gun. And we're definitely gonna want some A-10 Warthogs around here. We'll get three, and there's all sorts of cool aircraft you can use. Like we could have a heli helicopter, why not? A heavy? A heli heli? Get a grenadier ski, some anti-tanks, cause we're gonna need them. Definitely anti-aircraft infantry, some riflemen, and then like a whole battalion of army men. You need the classics. We'll have an observer to increase our vision. We'll get two of them. We'll get a sniper and a marksman. Ooh, a grenade launcher? Yes, please. All right. Now, for enemies, we're going to up it up a little bit. So those were the weak ants and weak flyers, and the big boss was just daddy long leg. But, I mean, there is... We could put in a giant tarantula and a giant scorpion and we'll up it to how about a praying mantis too i've been playing a lot of pocket ants over on the other channel so it's just like praying mantises are very prevalent or is it praying mantis high go with these ones the red ants now that's like gonna be 600 guys right so let's see if we can defend them now i do like the central hallway it's my favorite map and we got the sappers we got the supply trucks i think and we got air support and artillery support that's gonna be different and look at that this is actually the view of inside one of the heavy bombers that was designed to have just like a lot of uh, like what normally would shoot at enemy fighters is now shooting at bugs. I guess they could be considered enemy fighters too. All right, so reinforcements. We need two sappers at the front because we're gonna have to protect ourselves on all sides. We realize that the enemy will try to flank us. We'll put the observers here in the back just so I know where they are now. Artillery, we're gonna have the big gun way back here. Look at how massive that is. And then we'll have, and then look at how small these four howitzers are, relatively speaking. Like, look at that. Is that not huge? That's, a, that's like the World War One and World War II Germans. Look at that and like, oh yes, we will, we will make up some plans like this. This is wunderbar. <laughs> Gustav would love to seize us. We're going to need lots of rifles. They got to hold the line. We definitely want some aircraft this time, and we're gonna have them in our control tower. Oh, and the helicopter just kind of hovers, so we'll have him. We'll have him back there. Now, vehicles. It's key to have supply trucks. Do not forget to put those in, because I think there's a limit to how many entities you can have on the map. It's a lot more than tabs. Not as many as Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So we'll have some heavy vehicles here. Artillery's out. Now it's just the infantry. We have all of the smorgasbord of different infantries. Snipers in the back. Little baby mortars. 
little baby artilleries. And we'll start the battle, we'll pause, and then here's the key. We'll close control tower. We need to create the defenses. We're gonna need a lot of glue fields. And you see that in the upper middle, our battle points are going down as we place these. So you can't just place in an infinite amount, although it would be kind of cool. So one guy's just gonna be responsible for glue, but we're gonna try to make it somewhat realistic. All right, so that's his job. And then you, sir, will work on the barbed wire fields. We're gonna have to rotate these as we get closer. And all right, so that's your job. Now we got these two guys. You're gonna start from the other side. We're gonna need firing pits. And then you, let's see, we might need dragon's teeth to protect. These should help slow down the bigger bugs. If they get through the glue and everything like that, you're gonna be happy these things are here. It's like the Maginot line of Starship Troopers plastic army men. <laughs> oh, I guess we don't have a ton of infantry actually. We definitely wish we had more. All right, let's start moving them out. We got 80 seconds, so a little bit over a minute here. And I thought I was doing stuff like, all right, this big gun here is gonna be at the key point where he's got a lot of firing. We do have the artillery, so that's that's the key. So we'll leave uh, one guy back here, and these are the spotters and sniper teams. We'll want them on both sides near the point. So they'll increase our vision. Heavy armored vehicle out here and tank holding right here. Now we're gonna need uh, lots of supply trucks. Yeah, I, I I don't actually know if we're gonna be able to hold. We got the helicopter, so we'll call him on the point as well. He's gonna be huge. So see, that's the radius that they'll be resupplying in. Oh my God. Hold on. That is a massive artillery shell. It almost looks like it's even rocket powered. So that's helpful that we have an observer so we can make better use of the artillery. Look at that, the scorpions are spawning in. Where's that going? Oh, okay, let's see. <laughs> Boom! Did it crush those scorpions? Oh my god. It didn't even kill them. Yikes. All right, control tower. Send in the first A-10 Warthog. So he's gonna go on an attack run here. Oh, it's gorgeous! He's firing air-to-surface missiles, ground attack missiles. Dang! So clearly, with how many uh, enemies are out there, we're gonna wanna be very mindful. All right, we need anti-aircraft. I didn't move those guys out either. That could be problematic. I don't think there's too many flyers actually out there. Maybe I didn't. So here we go. The A-10 Warthog, though, is really the, the star of the show here. And there's only one. We still have a few more in reserve. So this one's in action. I want to keep one out in the field as uh, at all times. Because eventually we will run out of munitions here. Boom. Sound effects are great. All right. But the first scorpion is making it to the glue line here. He's slowing down. There's the giant tarantulas, the giant spiders. They're slowing down as well. They take a lot of hits. Now, here we are in the heavy tank. Boom. Take one to the dome, but he's still alive. Out of ammo. Who's out of ammo? I got to see who's out of ammo. Oh, the helicopter's out of ammo and maybe the A-10 Warthog as well. Okay. We'll send out the other two. So now we'll send out two. So the first one's softening up now that they're on. They're in the wire! Hit the deck! You know, now, now that we gotta bring them both of our A-10 Warthogs out. That should be fine. I think we'll hold, actually. So this is Home Wars, and this is just a sampling of it right now. Win the battle, all enemies will withdraw. What a glorious, glorious victory here. It's just such a great game, man. If you like green plastic army men as much as I do, man, because they're so nostalgic. It just reminds me of a kid, you know what I mean? That and Legos, man. But uh, I think we need a special vehicle here to supply that. Look at that artillery shell. All right, where's he going? He's going right outside the wire. There's a few little ants, like literally a couple, and they were both just smashed. So now we can go ahead and send our Apache on a scouting mission since he can't do too much in the way of uh, direct action. We'll have to use him as more of a support vehicle now. The A-10 Warthogs are beasts. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, mission accomplished. So uh, I think we should have given the enemy maybe a little bit more. So let's go to custom battle here. Like this is a strategic bomber, a B-52. There's an armored airship, which is basically just a Zeppelin, a blimp with uh, some downward facing guns. You have massive artillery, awesome tanks, and some crazy vehicles. In terms of the variety of units that you can field, it's the best Green Army Men game I've ever played in that regard. So let's do one more battle, but I wanna focus, I wanna get like some of the bigger planes. I wonder if we could do that. What if we just did this? Just air support. All right, so then we'll need the helicopters, the supply choppers. We'll have five. And enemies? Oh, you know what? Let's bring in the big bug. Titanius Giganteus. And we'll have uh, another thing of these and another thing of these and some more ants. There's like so many ants out there. Oh, I picked a different map too. Nice. Now we want all of these and it looks like, oh God, we're actually limited in where we can put them. And these guys just fly up high. I've actually never really dealt with them before. We're gonna want a lot of glue fields 
And we can have jumping mines. So I'm going to have mines out there. So what if you just had engineers and air force? Whoops, I accidentally pressed ready. Our guys are not in position. So I've got to call in the air force. I'm going to call in like four planes right off the bat. And look at them spawning in right there. Okay, this is this is wild. Uh, this is not ideal, maybe because our infantry are not in position. Yeah, accidentally pressed ready. These guys actually have to build this. Oh my god, that may not be good. But luckily, the air force is going out. So here we go. You got the uh, ground attack Harrier looking thing, and then the A ten Warthog, and then uh, I think that's a, a long range bomber. And all these big bugs, man. Those are Titan beetles out there. Look at that. He's just carpet bombing. All right. So if we look at that, they've still got plenty of ammunition. I think we got to bring in the big strategic bomber. Look at that. B-52 is bomb bay's already open. And we'll send in the split head and the uh, AC-130 gunship. So this is just air power, baby. So this is what it looks like from above, man. All of these guys going in. I guess we could... I hope these guys can supply from the sky. Otherwise, we messed up. All right. So how's our bombing runs? Look at that. Dropping massive amounts of napalm from the B-52. And then this thing. Look at that. Dat, 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 dat. And then I can... Uh, fire the guns here this is cool look at that this is what it looks like from up here so we're gonna let him do his thing and like look at that just pop 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 the 20 millimeter i think it's a 40 millimeter and then you've got like a howitzer in there but there's so many entities oh uh so many enemies the jumping mines are taking out a lot of the early bugs oh god get the sappers back there oh god they're dying the sappers didn't make it back we left them in the wire needless to say it didn't go well for them jumping mines against tarantula Boom! 60% health left. Oh, wow. The ants are flanking over here. How are they just destroying? Oh, man. Ooh, we, we did not account for this. And, and clearly, the air support isn't as effective as maybe we'd need it. We, we would probably need some uh, heavier munitions like bazookas and tanks. But so they go back and they refuel. And so you can kind of get them back into the action. It's like there's an off-screen airfield, maybe. And so the refueling does take a little bit of time, and you can only have nine aircraft vehicles at the same time. So we're running out of ammunition? Or is it a, 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 fl a plane that's doing that? But I just I just love this. Like, look at this, man. What other game can you do this in? Home Wars has a special place in my heart. Oh, look at that! Danger close napalm strike. There's a lot of plastic army men that are melting out there. I'll tell you that much. And the only thing that's going to keep us from totally getting swamped is bringing in the... Uh, let's see. Allied Outpost is starting to take some damage from both a scorpion and a giant spider. Look at that. B-52 is like, I'm out of... I'm out of munitions, bud. This is not looking good. Dang, they're attacking. Titan beetles are here. I don't even know if we've killed any of them. I assume we have, but you never really know. So let's get a little bit closer down here. and We'll shut the control tower down. So the Titan beetle, man, he is living up to his name in terms of how big he is. Oh, wow, we've won. We actually won this way? That almost looks like Agent Orange, but instead it's Agent Green. <laughs> All right, and we're about to get some of these vehicles back here. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. 58%. Are, are, are we out of ammo? Are they? Oh, dude, A-10. Just smash them. Bring another big guy. Danger close. Danger close. Kill everything. We cannot let the bugs to take this position. How is he out of ammo? I guess we do need supply trucks. Oh, my God. We napalmed our own base. I don't think it really matters, though. So this is Home Wars. It's the Green Plastic Army Moon Battle Simulator. So if you guys would like to see more, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know in the comments. Hope you guys are having a fantastic 2021. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ah, ah, ah.